So we're back again with the Thunderjet. As you can see, it's been uh, stripped down. Now, we'll leave that for a minute. As you have remembered, uh, hopefully, there was a big, well obviously you can see where someone had botched around trying to paint over something or other. I, don't know why but I've done this smooth I think it's always a uh, just run your finger over if you can't tell any difference doesn't need any more I started off with 800 quid and at the moment I've uh, gone down to 1200 there were some deep scratches in here which I've uh, put my favorite filler nail varnish to fill in so I'll get the treatment again now why did someone decide to move the bridge two sets of holes no idea why no idea at all we got the two holes for the, uh, the front here these two holes on the treble side and on the base again no idea why this one rather than that one did someone think about putting a fender style uh, kind of pick um, pickup guard on there if so why didn't they put it here hmm well obviously got the earth uh, only one hole there <coughs> so what we're going to do, we'll, we'll flip it over. We'll just concentrate on the hole. I can't see anything. Maybe uh, here, but it's cracked. But why go to all the uh, bother? And well, I left it on here a little bit too long for some reason. But that's just wiping off. No trouble at all. Why does someone try to botch up anything at all? What I may do is uh, insulate this round here with some uh, aluminium foil if necessary, and if that doesn't work, well, I'll have a go. But I'll have no other troubles with my um, other West Tones. But hey, back here again I'm lucky enough to have um, the model up this one was uh, modeled on the Thunder one now we have the same bridge assembly hmm that's a nice inbuilt uh, Gives me I've got on my guitar there. Now, you can see the same bridge. Five along there and two up front. Got ten holes here and two up four up front. But the principle is the same. I will be able to hopefully transfer the distance between the back of the bridge and the nut with any luck. And it all gets bunged together so that should um alleviate any problems there for someone to uh, mess about here i can only assume they could not get the intonation correct and it can't be out that much surely but again we will see The neck, luckily enough, is um, in good nick. Just have to polish these frets up. I think someone's done a uh, job of uh, crowning them. I'm not quite sure if they've actually, uh, ho hopefully not, put some kind of sealant on these. I'm a bit reluctant to have a batch of it, unless necessary. 
But again, this is, has been uh, used quite a lot. And they will be hidden by the string, so I might not have to do anything on them. And that is, uh, it's nice. I think it's a, maybe a graphite nut, but I'm not 100% uh, sure. And the neck itself, look down here, is straight. So hopefully that's when put under tension, that will just give the uh, right amount of bow. Got the relief correct. Now I can't find any specs on the setup for these. So, well, the correct setup, which is, I think always these are more of a kind of baseline to, to start with and you adjust it to your own personal preference. But then again, we will see how it goes. So the next job is to uh, continue sanding this down and it's a little bit round the round here. I'll try to blend it in nicely enough or I do know a couple of people who uh, do car body work so they, they may be able to do a proper job on it because me and painting don't always get on but I say that that's it for now a little, little update until next time drink beer <laughs>